Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on repeat and spiral designs in Illustrator. Now I'm using the spiral tool and I'm also using the repeat feature and that's in 2021. So if you haven't got 2021, that's not going to be available. Just going to remove that now. So I'm just going to go over here, spiral tool. That's the key thing here, spiral tool. You can click on the document and you can change all the various settings. Now it's not a live tool, so you can't change it at a later point. That would be really brilliant, but it's not. And you can modify various things, decay, radius, all those sorts of things. It's not a tutorial about the spiral tool particularly, but I'm just gonna use it within the repeat. So there's design there. It's a very basic spiral, and you can create all kinds of spirals. Obviously you can recolor it, Property panel, that's quite good. So I'm just gonna to go to window and properties. So you can see there, and what you can do, maybe set, so you can see it a bit better. I'm gonna go with six point, but also click there on the stroke. And you can go down the bottom and there's a profile option. And you can maybe make it like that, or maybe like that, or that one. Decide on something, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the object and repeat command. So. That's going to, you could of course set it to a different color, have different backgrounds, all those sorts of things as well. So object and go down to repeat. And there's obviously a couple of options. There's also mirror. I will go through those, but I'm just going to go with radial first. Radial is the most obviously obvious. So straight away, you've got that design there. Now what you can do, you can see here, you've got the repeat option. Obviously I've got it defaulted to 12, which may be a bit of an extreme. So, you can set it to like four, and you can see there. You can modify it over here as well, just simply by that. And also, you can rotate it, move distance, obviously. So you can vary, create all kinds of different designs. Now, I'm just going to go with four in this case. Obviously, I could make it more extreme. You could do that. Perfectly reasonable. It's quite a nice design there. But it just makes it easier to see when it's like four, something a bit smaller. And then what you can do... You can double click on the designs. You've got the spiral there. So you want to change it. So double click. And now what you can do, you can change it. And they will all change. They're all exactly identical, all spaced as well. And you can rotate that design. I'm just going to rotate that design. So you can see you can create all kinds of unique spiral designs simply by modifying things. Maybe have it like that, maybe like that. And this is all within the radial repeat isolation mode. And I'm just going to put it there. But what you can also do, you can go over here to the direct selection tool, maybe modify a particular point. So you can change that and that will change those. Maybe go over here, just change that. And you can see and create all kinds of fairly abstract looking spiral designs. And also you've got options here. You've still got the width profile. Weirdly, I know sometimes when I go into this, it doesn't allow you to modify the width profile. But in this case, you can. So you can just go through those and maybe select a different one. And also what you can do, go over here, width tool, the width tool, and you can, of course, modify the design there. So you can just tweak it and create maybe a different design like that. Or again, like I say, you can change your color. Don't have to have Hit black. Also, what you can do, just go over here to the selection tool. You can duplicate it. So hold down the alter option key and duplicate the design. So you can see you've got two. And then you change the color of that. So you can see you get a nice shadow effect as well, which of course you can then manipulate that and move that one around. It's exactly identical to the other one, though you can of course change it. Don't have to, you can resize it. Maybe add a different width profile to that one doesn't have to be identical. And you can see all kinds of different designs can be created using this approach. And also you can add other ones as well. Go over to Spiral Tool and add another spiral. And those will be added into the design. And again, vary the, there we go for that, and so and so. So you can see you can create very abstract designs and then come out, again, leave it, the isolation mode just by clicking up the top and then you can still manipulate this design so 
Again, also what you can do, you can remove items as well. So if you only want three, but you just want it like that, you can use that feature just to think. I must admit, I very rarely use it, but I know that some people like that feature. So use that. And you can also, of course, reposition it still. So you can change your mind and also always increase the number there. So you can create some very abstract designs using this approach. Now I'm just going to remove that. And again, go back to the spiral, click there, maybe make a different one. So maybe 90. So you've got that design. And then I'm just going to go for maybe a different stroke. And you can squeeze that. And to be honest, most times it works best when it's like a straight line upwards. So if you just go for like that, and then what you can do, you can go, go to object and repeat and radial. And you can see your design there. Of course, you can manipulate that design, you move that around to simply to select within that space. Also, you can angle change the angle. And again, you can split it apart. You can increase the number of instances just if you want. You can maybe make it a few more, something like that. Also, what you do, again, double click on there and you can see you can change the design itself. So if you want to, you can just change that. Maybe go and change the opacity so you make it fade or maybe change the four point change the click there again maybe go for dash lines if you want to do that or go and change the width profile and this you can do over and over again now once you're happy with the design you can you've obviously got that design you can still modify it what you can also do you can add another one if you want to do object and repeat, you can use radial again or mirror and grid. Also, you can obviously change that as well. But once you've finished, you can always go to object and you can expand. So the whole thing is expanded. Ooh, just come out of the final mode there. And you can see you can create some very nice designs simply by using the spiral as well as the repeat design. Now I'm just going to remove that. Now I'm just going to go over here again. Create another one. And I'm just going to go all oh, set the stroke so you can actually see it because at the moment it's got nothing there. Because there are a couple of other ones as well. So object and repeat and grid. You can see you've got your grid of spirals. Not maybe so effective as perhaps the other one. So you can see you can just drag this, just extends the, and you see you can modify the spacing so you can crunch them in if you want to make a, a nice spiral like that. Stretch it out, and likewise, you can stretch that out, and you can increase the distance, the spacing between them. So, you can create some very abstract, and now again, all editable. So, double click again on one of them and resize it. Now, in this case, because of the, the way it works, it's slightly different. It's not, I don't think, so effective when you do this, but it's still quite interesting how it creates. And you can squeeze the design, and you can always add additional elements as well. So, if you want to, Say, so I'm just going to quickly go and add ellipse. You can see you can add an ellipse there and add another ellipse there. And it's all relative to the initial design. That's the key thing to always remember when you're using the repeat. So you can see you can create some very abstract designs and come out and modify that if you wish. Or once you're finished, you can go to object and expand again. Move that. And now the final one, I'm just going to go for so just maybe a different stroke, just go for that. And also you can also add other effects. So I'm just going to go to add, let's add effect, or maybe distort it. So uh, envelope distort, make with warp. Uh, you've got the make with warp. Now it's quite possible, object and repeat. Yeah, I was going to say, there's some, like this one, the warp, where it just doesn't allow you to do it. So if you've done this design, what you need to do is to go to object and expand. And also what you can do, you can of course add standard effects here as well. So if you want to, maybe Gaussian Blur. So you can add a Gaussian Blur there. And now of course what you can do, Object and Repeat and Radial. So you can see you've got that. What you can also do, you can use the Mirror option. So Object and go down to Repeat and there's Mirror. So you've got the Mirror there. And what you can do, again, don't try and work on the that side. You have to work on the left side. 
I don't know. Sometimes it does allow you to work on the right side, but sometimes, most times, it just you have to work on the right side, and then you can resize that, and you can see you can get all kinds of interesting sort of combinations of designs by using this approach. Squeeze that in and rotate it. And you can explore all kinds of unusual designs by doing this. And you can go over here again, stroke, and you also change the width profile, so maybe change that. Now you'll notice that sometimes it's, you can actually see that design, obviously it's uh, done it correct though, it's nice the way, thing. so you've got that there. And again, you can exit the isolation mode, so just quickly come out of it, isolation mode. Now you can always go and re-edit again, so if you want to, you can double click, Again, double click on there and then just change that, change that design. Come out of isolation mode again. But you can also, with that design, resize it. You can also go to object and repeat and radial or grid, of course, as well. And then you've got the design there. Again, maybe. So you can go maybe for three or four. And you can see you can create all kinds of unusual designs like that. Just resize it so you can actually see the design. And again, what you can do, you can always double click and you can then edit the result there and change it still, it's still live. And there's still at the time you can go and change the stroke, maybe click there. And now at this point, you notice that the profile has gone. There's some things it just will not allow you to do. And now I have noticed it, it does vanish occasionally. But you can still change the, the width, the weight, I should say. I would still, still call it width. Sometimes it's width, sometimes it's weight. You've obviously got the width tool. So you can do that and then you can come out of that design and you could continue on with, but this is all from the spiral tool, spiral and using repeats and combinations of repeats. So again, purely repeat like that and then object and go to repeat and radial or grid or mirror. Well, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials about Illustrator, Photoshop and many, many others. Also, uh, please subscribe. So uh, it's always great. And any questions, please put those in the comments. Maybe I've done something wrong, maybe done something right. I don't know. It's always uh, possible that you might think, well, why didn't you do this? Or what did I, you know, maybe I went too far somewhere. Please let me know in the comments. Always appreciated. Also a dislike or a like. Thank you much.